I know like on a surface level when sometimes people get familiar or start to learn about commercial financing, they hear that, oh, you know what? The beauty about it is they don't look at my personal income and credit. They just look at the property's income and expenses like debt covers. And so long as the property is good, nothing else matters. Everything always matters in financing, always, right? It's just to what degree it's important. So yeah, generally speaking, if a property debt covers based on its income and expenses, it will be eligible for a certain mortgage amount and approval. But depending on what your plan is with a property, like the project, right? So say you're wanting to buy a 10 or 20 unit apartment building, and then the whole plan is to, to value, add, improve it, right? Increase the rents, reduce some expenses, hopefully shoot for a higher valuation where you can refinance and pull your money out. You know, lenders also going to look at, okay, like who's, you know, Chris, who's Adrian, what experience do they have turning over a $4 million building? Like, do they have experience doing any of that in the past? Or are they buying a property that's like out of province? Do they have relationships? Who's part of the borrowing profile? So the profile of people that are involved in the actual deal is, is very, very important. And it's only becoming more important in addition to what the property looks like.